Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, new breed. What up, y'all? I've done this video uh, a couple times already. <laughs> well, I did it uh, Saturday, well, Wednesday. I'm sorry. I did this video on Wednesday, and I like started it like five minutes in. I was like, ah, oh, I messed up or whatever. So I did it Wednesday, and I did the the desktop view, and I hate that view. Sucks hate it <laughs> so i did the video and i just nah, i just i wasn't feeling it so i'm gonna do it this way and uh yeah start over uh i want to get the the dual thing you know it's something that i want to do the where it's facing me and then i also got the desktop view i want to try that out see if i like that but just the desktop uh, i don't like it so anyway uh, the video i wanted to work on is it's going to be on uh micro knives so uh micro knives I was gonna what I was thinking for uh, like what would qualify or what I would consider a micro uh, micro knife would be a blade under two inches but the baby banter uh, the blade is two inches so two inches and under is what I was gonna go for and with this you know this is not a micro knife it's a small knife but not a micro knife so the Civivi baby banter the Ben Peterson design uh, you know, it's a small knife, fifth pocket knife, but not a micro knife. Yeah, it's a very good knife, you know. We got if it were maybe just this part right here, and then the blade down here, then that would be a micro knife. But with this forward finger trail, you get almost that that full for full purchase on there. I mean, you know, the five foot four mediums. <laughs> uh, you got a you get a better purchase with that. So definitely, uh, just like a smaller knife. It's not a micro knife. So I will do a small knife uh, video, but right now we're doing the micros. And uh, so what I'm going to do instead, what I'm considering a micro knife is going to be uh, five inches and under. Uh, I thought that would work better. I have some that are, that, you know, five inches and under, just too small to be, you know, uh, full, you know, full purchase usually, or, you know, just something that you want to put as your main or your secondary. But anyway, uh, the first one I want to talk about, I'm going to do like from least favorite to favorite, I guess, just of what I have. And, uh, well, the first one I want to talk about is the, the Kershaw Cinder. This is not my least favorite. This is just one that, uh, caused, like, I guess, I don't want to, I don't know about fascination, but, uh, just, I had a, a, a lot of, um, that I had been watching because I, I was looking up smaller knives, keychain knives, when I was looking to switch from my Kershaw Link, just for a, a reason that I, uh, I just wanted to switch up to something smaller. I needed to switch up for something smaller. And I was like, oh, what kind of small knives do they have? And there were like, there were a decent variety. Uh, so there was the Civivi Elementum, but it was out of my price range at the time. So I was like, oh man. So there was that. And then the Micro Recon, which was a little step up. I had never, no, the most I had ever spent before was on the Kershaw Link, which was like 60 or no, like 45 bucks. It was like a markdown 60 from 60 at Walmart. And uh, so then for a small knife, I was like, no way, $42 for a little knife like that. I did end up getting that at some point, uh, at one point, and I understand it. They, they didn't do any shortcuts on that. It, it's made, it's built very well. Uh, did uh, maintenance on that a couple times when I had it, and it's just like a full size knife. That's just it's, it's built well. It's worth the the forty two. I got it for twenty nine. I had some coupons on Amazon the, the time I got it, but uh, I would buy it again for sure. Uh, so what I did end up going with. Let me get back to it. Sorry guys. The Kershaw Cinder, this is one I went with. The Micro Recon is one that I still want to check out, and I will at some point. This is a hinderer design. So this is just one that started it off for me. It's a cool little keychain knife. It's a 3CR, I don't think I have it on here. Uh, 3C, 3CR, like, 15 or something like that, MOV. So very, very soft steel, but sharpens, sharpens very, very nice. You know, you get very slicey, but it just won't last long. But, you know, that's what these are. That's All these are going to be, they're just for opening packages. You know, you just need them in, you know, just in a pinch. Something that you have on you that isn't going to draw a lot of attention. Something that's just, you know, it's just handy to have, you know, and just have it on your keys or fifth pocket or in a pouch. That's usually how I do mine. Uh, this one I had on my keys for a little while. So this is a Kershaw Cinder. And, yeah, carry this for a while. I dig it. Uh, a little liner lock on there. It's right there so 
it's the what is the frn or whatever they call it on for kershaw so that's that little bottle opener on the other side almost a multi-tool knife idea uh so now we're going to start the list i guess so this is going to be my least favorite uh i i dig the design a lot but there are some major issues with it that i'm going to talk about so this is the boker plus uh suaseki it's a d rocket design and somebody else i don't know whose logo that is if anybody knows please let me know this is there's d rocket obviously the rocket and then uh this i don't know who that is so daryl casting design and somebody else d2 steel stainless steel on the d2 blade steel stainless steel on the handle so with the g10 on the other side and i like the aesthetic but what i hate a lot about it so well i'll get to that in a minute but I like how it looks, you know, just close like that. Cool little pocket clip, with like almost full size. <laughs> uh, flicks out, I did have to do maintenance on that. Sometimes with Boker, you know, you get the QC issues and the fit and finish issues. And I'm, I'm a big, big fan of Boker, but I can't deny that that is a major, major thing with them. So the thing that I don't like about this is uh, the lock bar access is not there, which, you know, that can, that can still be fixed with how they cut it out right here. Which they do have a little cutout, but it is a slim design. And the issue with it is how how much they knocked it down right here. It's chamfered so much. It's very soft that when you go to to unlock it, you can slip. Uh, actually, when I was doing the video, the video that I that I'm not putting out, uh, as I was I talked about that. And as I was you know I was like oh I'm talking about the action I was like oh it's flicking well because sometimes it still flips uh, flicks out like crap, <laughs> and like that right there. And I was talking about that. And as I was going to unlock it, it did what I was talking about. It slipped this way and like came towards me. And the thing about it is you don't have a lot of purchase with this smaller knife. So it can be like, whoa, like it kind of gets you like, whoa, <laughs> because if you lose control of it and it slips this way, you're going to get all your palm and everything like that, which is pretty lame. Uh, if you have a Dremel, Dremel, you can cut access into that. But if you don't you know, have experience with one or you don't have one, then that's pretty much how your design is coming. So... You know, that could be pretty lame, uh, but it, it's a cool design. I still dig it. Uh, I would like to get a Dremel to, to fix that issue just because, like like I said, I don't want to hand this to anybody. I don't feel comfortable handling handing it to somebody. At least when I do, I, I tell them, hey, but be careful when you unlock it because uh, you can slip, and I don't want anybody to cut themselves using this. So very cool design. It's a hollow grind chisel. It's a chisel. So you got the flat edge on this side. So it's just flat on, on this side of the blade. And then this is where you get your cutting edge and your working edge, rather. So you got the hollow, uh, nice hollow on there, tall hollow. So it's a cool little, it's a cool little design. You get uh, with the thickness of it, you get a nice little purchase, almost like the baby banter. That's what's cool about the baby banter. So you get like the smaller design, but it's still thick enough to where you can feel the, feel the hand a little bit better. So that is the Boker Plus Suaseki, my least favorite. And uh, I'm off. Concentrating on unlocking that one. So uh, that is that one. The next one is going to be the Kaiser Walnut. So Mr. J design, I believe. This is a double detent, so it does not lock. It's uh, almost like a money clip design. So it comes with another clip I have right here, actually. I swapped it out. It comes with this one. This one on here. And it was it was a bit much, so I swapped it to this because I, I don't think I'll use it as a money clip ever. And it's just a fun knife. I, I like the I like the color pattern. I just don't like the pattern. I like the colorway. It's not the pattern. And I love the pivot collar. This looks this looks really cool. So sorry about the light. Here we go. There we go. So let's get it open. Oh, it's upside down. That's funny. <laughs> let's get it right. <laughs> there it is right there. So it's got this like up swept. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, almost cleaver style but not so uh yeah it's it's it can be useful i like that because it is a double detent i do prefer the double detents to have uh the forward finger control the way it has it here because it keeps it from closing on your fingers it's just like i don't mind if uh, a slip joint doesn't have it i don't have my uh mkm selena out right now I don't mind uh, if a slip joint doesn't have the finger show if it's sturdy, but if it's if, like if it's a strong, you know, with a half stop. But when it's like this with the double descent, very, very quick like that, uh, I, I prefer to have a forward finger show because it just closes too easily. 
uh, like you can't do this grip because then if your palm, you know, it'll it'll squeeze. Well, I was think I was thinking about this grip. Sorry, if you do that, because that seemed useful with this cutout. You could get in for some cool cuts, but then you can close it on yourself. So uh, I do like the forward finger trail. Keeps you locked out. So you can, you know, it's kind of the angle of the blade kind of keeps you limited. But these are smaller knives. You're not going to be doing much but open packages. So, but if you're going to use it, you're, you're going to, I guess, want to keep the blade at an angle as you're cutting through just to make sure you don't slip out because it's so high up there. But it, it's a cool design and it's fidgety. You know, that's what it's going to be. And like I said, none of these are going to be hard use. So it just needed to open a uh, package real quick. Be a little conversation starter, hang it, hand it to a buddy, hey, I'll check it out, and be like, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> being weird, but <laughs> that's the the Boker Plus, I'm sorry, the Kaiser Walnut, it is N690 on the blade steel, G10 on the frame, on the scales, and uh, is there a million on this? A cool little backspacer, there's a G10 backspacer on here. Give it to me, give me some texture, can we get some texture in here, or, or no? We're not gonna get texture, guys. Sorry, it's just too bright on this side. Is this going on here? I don't know. I'm gonna stop. So I'm gonna stop doing that. Maybe from back here. As I say, I'm gonna stop doing that. I do it right. <laughs> uh, man, what if I angle it? I'm not gonna mess with it right now. I'm gonna mess everything up if I do that. I've already got the video going. Next one up, it's gonna be uh, the Boker Plus S Rail. G10, uh, almost a, another like money clip style thing going on. And this is more utility blade. Uh, it's it's a cool design. You're going to see a few Daryl Kasten designs, another Daryl Kasten. And I'm a big fan of his of his designs. Uh, he had something, a post on his Instagram recently, and he was like, hey, not hey, he didn't say hey. He said, we're starting, you know, reaching out to anybody or if anybody wants to contact us about wanting to check out any designs, any creators or something like that. And I don't usually reach out or anything like that, but I saw that and he was like, like to review products and things like that, pens and things that he has very innovative stuff. And I'm a fan of his work. So I was like, I'm going to message him. And I was like, hey, I don't have a big channel. I said, I have some pretty decent live streams. You know, I have some people that come in and I said, I would love to check out some of your stuff if you're into it. I said, you can check out my channel. And see what you think. And he read it and he didn't even respond. I was like, ah, oh, hate you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but it is what it is. But anyway, I just thought it would be a cool opportunity to kind of check out his stuff and maybe get into his noggin a little bit. But this is the S Rail. Cool design. You got uh, two spots here for the opening. You got one in the center. Oh, focus. There you go. One in the center and then one up top. So you can go halfway. Locks in right there. This is my preferred position in the half one, and then you can go all the way. Uh, the reason I'm not too into the the one the fully open position is because there's a lot of a lot of rock to it. Here we go. So that's how it is when when it's fully open. But you know you can still do it. Just watch out on the button whenever you're using it. Watch the button because then you can close it. Also, when you handle it, watch where you have your fingers because it's you know it's just open. So if you have your finger in the wrong spot and you go to close it, you're going to maybe slice yourself pretty good. So you just got to be mindful. But, you know, with knives, always be mindful. Always be careful. Always know what you're doing. When you're doing, pay attention. Uh, so the half stop is really my preferred position for it. Uh, just like right there. It's more stable. There's not... Can't hear anything there. It would be light, light, light movement. But not, definitely not as much as all the way open. Just a really cool idea, and uh, this is my favorite uh, carry for the post office just because, you know, sometimes I go there a lot and sometimes I might need to mess with the package that I take or repackage or I just need to open something really quick or whatever. This won't draw a lot of attention. Man, this light camera is being lame right now. Sorry about that. Yeah, so it's just, I, I like the, the idea. It's more utility blade, so it doesn't... It's not a scary thing. People, whoa, calm down, sir. <laughs> that is the Boker Plus S Rail Daryl Kasten design. Next one, guess what? <laughs> Daryl Kasten design, the Boker Plus Baby X. This one is another one of those fit and finish issues from uh, Boker where I had to touch it up quite a bit. This comes with a clip, but it just drags in and out of the pocket. It's, it's a very 
rough one to do. So I just took it off and threw this lanyard on. It works well for me. And you see all the spots that I tried to touch it up. <laughs> I didn't do a great job, but I knew I was keeping it, so I didn't care. So you see all the marks. That's me, but it's me trying to finish it better. It was very, like, jagged. You see all this jimping on here? The finish was just rough. It was really, really rough. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, I, I like Boker a lot. And I, it hasn't kept me from buying any Bokers. It's just, you know, when I go to get one, I know what I'm getting into. Uh, so this is Boker Plus, Daryl Caston Design Baby X. That blade, you got that sheep's foot. Really cool. I like it. Or maybe a Warncliffe. Warncliffe. The logo looks good. The blade finish. It, it's a cool looking design. I, I dig it a lot. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, as, as as many issues as it has, uh, it's it's still one of my favorites. Man, why is this this side being lame? Give it to me. Give it to me right now. <laughs> my friends are watching. You're making fun of me? Uh, the drop has a nice little drop to it. I think it is D2. Yeah, D2 on the steel. Right there. Uh, stainless steel frame. Uh, it is a uh, frame lock, very thin, very thin. We're not gonna be hard using this, but it is awesome for the uh, the cuts. Just opening some packages, awesome action, little fun design. It's 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 very cool. I I, I like this a lot. Um, I think that's about all I have on that. But you do get the detent uh, track. You get that the detent ball and the track sticking out on this. You get that on quite a few of it. Well, not quite a few, but I have seen it on a few of his designs. So the track's sticking out, but it's not too bad. You just gotta, you're usually gonna wipe your blade down anyway, and you're not gonna be cutting into fruits and things like that. But there, there is a chance of getting more more dust into uh, that area with it being exposed like that. But it's not, uh, it's not a major deal sometimes. So that's the Boger Plus Baby X Daryl Caston design. Next one up. Guess what? <laughs> it's a Daryl Caston design. This is the Boker Plus uh, Oval Swivel, Oval Moon Swivel. I did, I did a video on this a while back, and I kept saying the Oval Swivel, no, the Oval Moon Swivel, and I, I, I rewatched the video, and I was like, why am I saying Oval Moon Swivel? I thought I made it up. I was like, man, that's so, that's so stupid that I'm saying that. Why would I say that? Why would I think that up? Where did that come from? Turns out it was actually the name. Even in the video, I'm correcting myself, Oval Swivel. I went back and to put the link in. I said, "Oh, it is Oval Moon Swivel." <laughs> I just thought I was making stuff up, but uh, it's a it's an awesome design. It's another unique design by Daryl Caston. You got this knurling on the the, the aluminum, and uh, you got the kind of a flathead type deal going on. You have that on this one as well, but, but it's more like a half situation. When I did uh, maintenance on that one. Just use a flathead on there. So this one, the way you open this, it is like that gravity style, but it's not like crazy action. You just kind of open it this way. That's it. Open it. You know, nice uh, sheep's foot on this one, or you know, this little snub nose guy. It's that flat edge, another chisel grind. Uh, this one was a chisel grind as well. This uh, kind of utility style. Just uh, flat on one side, working edge on the other. Uh, this one is a flat, flat grind on that. And on this one, it's a hollow. Nice deep hollow on this one. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's just a really, really, there's this logo on there, D2 Steel again. Uh, Boker, I don't know, Boker thinks uh, very highly of their D2 and their VG10 because their prices are crazy crazy high on them. I don't know, maybe they bought a bunch at, at one time and they did a lot of stuff, a lot of designs with them, and they're trying to still put it out with awesome designs, or they didn't sell as well at the time and they're still putting them out, but luckily if you go to Caviso, that's where I've gotten some of these, or most of these now. Uh, this one I think I got, uh, I don't know where I got this one, maybe White Mountain or something. If you go to Caviso, uh, a lot of times they'll have some deals on some Bokers, so if you're interested in checking out some Bokers, maybe you like Boker and you still want a deal, or maybe you you're not a fan of Boker, but you want to check one out, check out Kaviso. They have some deals sometimes. So, uh, yeah, so they're D2. I don't know if they got crazy prices on them, but now they're stepping out. Now they're using Magna Cut, Nitro V. I, I have something on pre-order right now, a little cool little knife uh, 
I'll, when that one comes, I'll show it and we'll talk about it. But that one's Nitro V, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, nice hollow, slicey. It is very slicey. Some people might think it's a little gimmicky, but I don't. This is one of my favorites. It's it's a, it's a nice little option. This one is another one of my, my favorites to carry to the post office. Still get to carry something fun and uh, slicey and doesn't draw. I mean, the way it opens is kind of can catch a little bit of attention, but come on, who's going to trip about that little snubby guy? <laughs> and just be like, oh, what is that? <laughs> so uh, a nice uh just something fun to carry something cool i, I really really uh, appreciate uh how he was able to like just from me using it i was able to accomplish such a useful design and something that seems so gimmicky um because it does work well you lock it you lock it open uh yourself keep it from closing i guess you could maybe push it one way or another let me see so if you're I don't know. I guess if you pushed it weird, but it, like I said, you're not going to be doing any hard use. You can do this number all day, baby. All day. Night. Evening. Extra evening. Breakfast. Wake up. Amazon Warrior breakfast in the morning. He's eating like this. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's, that's how that one's going to be used. And it's just, I, I dig it a lot. So that is the... Boker Plus Oval Moon Swivel D Rocket Design uh, D2 on this, the blade, I think I said. So I, I like it. And last but not least, definitely not least, this is my favorite. Uh, Elementum, if I still had it, it would be, it would probably be next up or just before the, the one that I just showed. Uh, this one is not a Daryl Castan, don't worry. It is the Boker. It is a Boker, though. It is a Boker. Uh, Boker Plus Boak, uh, Urban Trapper Stubby. It is a Brad Zinker design. Uh, this is my favorite. This is a, an example where uh, Boker did a great job. This The fit and finish on this one is awesome. I bought the Urban Trapper Linear at the same time as this one, night and day. Uh, the Boker Trapper uh, Linear was like, it was scrapey right here. And just, it wasn't finished as well at all. And the action was kind of, eh, you know, just kind of open, like, what, what's up? What are we doing? What are we cutting? <laughs> this one, we'll check it out right now. Nice little action for this design. Just small, very minimal, but it's built like a big guy. You know, you see, it, it has the, the aesthetic of, like, one of his bigger designs, or, like, his designs aren't overly built or anything. They're just long designs or, or slim designs. Sometimes they're, like, 7.8 inches or something like that, but they're like this. And it's like just a shrunk down version. You even got like the regular size pocket clip on there. Some people don't like his clips. I'm a fan of his clips. And uh, it's just a cool aesthetic. And I, I love the action. I love the finish. It's it's just done very well. This one is a, a VG10. This one's VG10. Got that stone wash. I love his logo. And uh, I haven't taken this one apart. So I don't know what it looks like underneath with uh, no pivot. I didn't really catch that at first until I saw this one in the Urban Trap Trapper Linear side by side. I took a picture and I was like, oh yeah, there's no pivot on these. So that is interesting. I, I, I want to do maintenance on this. I should. I've carried it a bunch that it probably needs it. Got that stone wish, stone wash uh, pocket clip. So yeah, awesome design. Uh, this is where you're going to want to do it. Fits in the palm well, like cradles in there with this little, uh, the way it kind of swoops down like that. You do this number, like wherever you put it, it's just sitting right in there. You can do this cut, however you want to do it. It's snug as a baby in a rug. Wait, is it a baby in a rug? That sounds dangerous. A bug in a rug. That sounds better. I think that's the, that is the one. What am I talking about? So that's cool. I mean, you do have to get way up there for that cut, but I'm just going to use it real quick. Get up in there all day, baby. Got to get pretty deep, actually. <laughs> yeah, you do. Crazy angle on that, but... I love it. I love this one so much. This is my favorite micro knife. Uh, action doesn't play. It's just they didn't take any shortcuts on this one. Much like the Elementum that I was talking about. Action is cool, snappy. You do kind of got to be careful with the Brad Zinker designs. Uh, his blades, they go I'm mess around. They go way uh, down to the all the way down. So if you have a smaller design of his, don't palm it in a weird way because you'll catch your palm. 
and the same with this one and you got to hold it funny anyway because it is smaller but it goes all the way to that so you're getting all that two inches baby <laughs> i don't know how big this one is that's what she said i don't have my measuring tape dang it uh i don't know how big oh you know what i can do let's see next to the baby bands here kind of blade we got so yeah you get more cutting edge in the baby bands here just or maybe about the same about the same so two inches on this <laughs> yeah you already know man. i ain't playing around <laughs> uh, so that is the Boker uh, Boker Plus Brad Zinker Urban Trapper Stubby and that wraps it up guys 25 minutes sorry about that had a lot to talk about uh, I hope you all made it this far if you didn't I understand no you know what no man I'm hurt <laughs> no I, I appreciate y'all y'all checking out the video y'all stuck around uh, y'all come by the live stream Saturday uh, check it out uh, drop your your carries in the in the comments. Tell me what's up. Like, subscribe if you want. It's all up to you. I appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all have a great week, great weekend, whatever time you're watching this morning, afternoon, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Make sure you're doing some awesome stuff. Enjoying your family. Uh, keep the pockets packed. Eat some awesome snacks. And that's all I got. I'll check y'all later. Peace. Gotta hit that. Stop.